Hi folks. So today I wanted to show you a simple little project I threw together. Uh, it's commonly known as a build light indicator. So this kind of is intended to show the status of uh, software in a like office environment where you have a team of people working on that, that piece of software. Um, this is commonly used in like agile software development where you have multiple people working on a, a big software project. But then it's also very commonly used in things like uh, continuous development or uh, continuous integration environments where uh, software that's being built is actively being tested and compiled all the time pretty much and is actually being deployed out to the customer as soon as it's ready to to go uh, like immediately um, so what this light is doing is intending to tell the team very easily visually across you know from any uh, any office or cube in the in the building what is the current status of the software so typically you'll see something like green is everything's great ready to go yellow might be there's some tests failing uh, software unit tests or integration tests perhaps and then red is usually something's completely broken and I can't even build the software so what I decided to do since I'm uh, leading a rather large team uh, currently uh, what we what I grabbed was a warning light uh, this is typically used in like industrial environments um, on the side of machines to uh, visually give people immediate status of a machine just like it would for I described for software where uh, these lights would immediately tell uh, anybody on the floor the current status of that machine if it's good to go or if it, obviously something's broken or it's waiting on somebody for example so these warning lights you can pick these up kind of cheap I got this like for $18 off eBay um, shipped uh, but problem major major problem was like documentations only in Chinese and this is the only documentation you get uh, not that it's very complicated but uh, Google Translate managed to, to figure it out for me so anyways in my situation I'm not connecting this up to some kind of giant machine I'm connecting this up to a computer because uh, in our continuous environment continuous uh, integration or development environments you usually have something like a build server for example uh, Jenkins or Bamboo or uh, Team City, one of those and they'll do a software build pretty much as soon as somebody checks in some new code um, so I decided I'm gonna connect this right over USB to my build server and I'll be able to get immediately status from it by having the build server run a script when one of the situations occur and it changes the lights for me so uh, let me crack this open and show you what I got in here real quick so construction is pretty simple I had this little simple project box I had laying around and I used an Arduino Uno uh, I think a eBay clone with the proto shield on top of it which is I think also an cheap eBay clone. Uh, it has four wires coming down off the light, uh, red, yellow, and green, and then purple was the buzzer, and then gray is a positive 12 volts since this is ground side switched. These are all LED lights in here, so they don't take much power at all. So I opted to use just a set of 2N quad 2 um, NPN transistors since that's uh, they, these can handle far more current than what these uh, lights were going to ever put out. Um, and uh, I originally was thinking of using uh, a 12 volt wall wart in order to power it, since these are 12 volt LEDs. But I, uh, I decided to simplify my wiring and uh, I just went with the USB into it. And then I used a buck boost regulator to boost the 5 volts from the USB up to 12 volts for the light which is a kind of nice because you can adjust this buck boost regulator so you can actually control the intensity of the light. Uh, the one downs, one problem I really had with it is the buzzer. Um, the leakage current through the transistors was enough to actually cause the buzzer to sound. 
which was extremely annoying. And I never really intended to use the buzzer at all in an office environment. That's not a very nice courtesy to have a buzzer going off constantly. Um, so because I could not get it to shut off, I just decided to leave it disconnected. But otherwise, that's the, uh, the, the uh, hardware. So software-wise, um, this is running in a standard Arduino environment. No fancy libraries or anything. Um, I'm going to put this back together and give you a little quick demonstration of what's happening. So software-wise, is a pretty simple interface. It's literally just uh, throw a couple characters at the serial port when you uh, connect it to the PC. So I, I'm going to provide all the source code and a couple example scripts written in uh, Python. Uh, to do that, which I may or may not use depending on what my final build environment is going to be like. But uh, for right now, I'm just going to use the Arduino uh, serial monitor and give you some examples. So as you can see, all lights are on and you can command all lights off immediately or just a single light on if you really want to, of course. Um, and I also provided some simple flashing modes uh, so can, the Arduino can autonomously flash the lights. So if you have um, like uh, some kind of status is going on so you can like uh, for example maybe flashing green is when it's actually compiling uh, the code for example or something like that and then flashing yellow might be when it's actually running a, a unit test or something like that um, and you can do quite a lot with it so for example you can run all three at different rates if you really want to but Obviously, you get a you know Christmas tree effect, but uh, it's pretty flexible, I think, for all the all the needs I I would possibly have. Um, and uh, so, in the video description, I'm going to provide links to pretty much eBay links to pretty much all the components I used here. And then on uh, GitHub, I'm also going to provide a link down below to that. On GitHub, I'm going to provide all the source code and circuit schematics for uh, the Arduino, and plus, like I said, my example Python scripts that you see here, and uh, an interface description, so you guys can have fun with it. Uh, free open source, all that jazz. Good times. So, uh, anyways, so neat little simple project, threw it together pretty quick, and I thought I'd share it with everyone. Thanks.